So next week, Cataclysm Classic will finally be here for full release as we wave goodbye to Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And Wrath in many ways both did and didn't live up to the hype that we all thought of the expansion in, through our rose-tinted goggles. And as a self-confessed Wrath fanboy, Wrath always had been my favourite expansion from gameplay through to the general story, alongside the fact that levelling alts still went through both the old vanilla world and Burning Crusade as a rite of passage to get into the Wrath content. And the expansion's initial boom of players was a huge success. And fan favour continued throughout its initial release and throughout various phases of Wrath. However, it's still true that Wrath has seen its popularity dwindle over its tenure this time around, yet saying that I don't want to doom on things too much, and rather give it a send-off in the love letter it deserves. So for one last time, let's take a look back at Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and say to Ra for now to one of WoW's greatest expansions. But just before we jump in, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new here, as it helps me out a bunch. So thanks very much indeed. Now, let's get on with it. Now, you could argue that Wrath's tenure started at its pre-patch at the end of Burning Crusade, when vibes were still good and the well of happiness was truly full, as everyone had enjoyed Burning Crusade and Vanilla, and we were eager to head into Wrath Classic despite the slightly disappointing news that there were no Burning Crusade era realms. However, for many, the Lich King is seen as the peak of WoW, alongside Arthas's story being one of WoW's all-time greats. And combine this excitement with booming Burning Crusade servers, getting Death Knights early, doing some raids, smashing through battlegrounds to gear up for Wrath, and well, it was a combo for some of the best and most fun times I've had in WoW in general. Maybe it was just the nostalgia goggles hitting big time, but something really did feel in the air and everyone was in good spirits. And on release, it did seem that this kind of happy vibe continued throughout. I always remember loving Wrath leveling, but I forgot how much I actually enjoyed going through each zone in Northrend, with certain key highlights coming back to me like the Argent stand in Zul'jrak, or smashing through Utgard Keep and Pinnacle. To put it simply, leveling for me really didn't disappoint, nor did it feel like I was living through nostalgia. 70 to 80 felt like you were exploring Northrend for the first time again, with little characters and quests popping back up that I'd completely forgotten about. And well, it was also a fair bit slower than I remembered too. For some reason, I'd always remembered Wrath leveling to be a lot faster, but to be honest, it felt just as slow as Burning Crusade to me. Now, this was great for my first main where I could enjoy the content, but certainly did affect how much I wanted to bother leveling alts, as it's a long old road to 80. And I thought it was pretty neat of the classic team to implement the lock for Naxxramas in the first few weeks at the start of the expansion. So everyone didn't instantly smash through Nax and then complain there was nothing to do, although they certainly did that two weeks in. Now I have to reveal my bias here. I absolutely love Nax Ramus both in Vanilla and Wrath of the Lich King, but I understand there is heavy criticism of Phase 1 being too long or Nax being too boring. Honestly, I never get bored of the aesthetic or vibe of the raid. I enjoy all the boss fights, and for me, Kel'Thuzad is a satisfying end to the raid. And in Wrath of the Lich King, it makes you feel like you've bolstered the first of the Lich King's defences, in a way that he never Never thought Nax would fall. So it's fair to say I personally didn't get bored of phase one, I just continued loving it. Yet in saying that, I completely understand this is my bias towards the raid and memories I've made in it over the years. So I understood the frustrations that came with only raiding Nax for quite a while. But once we got out of Nax, we headed into Ulduar, regarded as one of the greatest raids in WoW's history, alongside the implementation of juiced up Titan rune heroic dungeons to help with gear progression for those who had missed out on Nax. So personally, I like Ulduar as a raid and think the boss encounters are fantastic, and I love the way you dive deeper into the stronghold to discover nasty old yogurts has corrupted the whole place. It's epic in scale and in fights, and provided a boost to classic wrath that was much needed for the player base. And to be honest, the Titan Rune dungeons gave us some more interesting tactics, and were a nice catch-up method alongside farming emblems to keep dungeons relevant, and I enjoyed the way that these continued to get buffed the longer that wrath went on. Yet it is fair to say that the new Titan Rune dungeons also made the older raids a bit obsolete or pointless in some ways. Personally, I feel the classic team could have simply tuned up older raids into a bit of an emblem farm. For example, you get a quest each week to finish the previous raid that will grant you 10 extra emblems. A bit like how we have weeklies at the moment just for one boss. Yet we could have done that for the whole raid. And whilst this would make gearing a bit quicker for the current content, it's a small but imperfect idea that could have helped. Yet saying that, raiding Ulduar and the new dungeons were good fun at first. But for me, this is where things kind of went on the decline a little, as the phase went on for far too long and there wasn't really enough variety in the most up-to-date content, unless you wanted to just raid Ulduar. And although Ulduar is a great raid, it goes unspoken how a lot of people actually aren't that keen on it, not due to difficulty, but more just because they have no interest in the implications it has on the story. I mean, it's the only raid where the Lich King doesn't appear whilst in Wrath of the Lich King, a vibe lots of people don't gel with, or maybe don't stick around for too long. So generally speaking, this phase went on a bit too long, and it's where Wrath did start to feel a 
bit left behind or forgotten about. Now a big surprise for me is how much I enjoyed Trial of the Champion and Crusader this time around. Maybe it was just the osmosis of everyone telling me how rubbish it was back in the day to the original run of Wrath of the Lich King that I then convinced myself at the time, hey, I don't like this either. But after the long raid nights of Ulduar, the punchiness of talk really did feel like a fun breath of fresh air for a raid that you could smash out in 40 minutes to an hour and could easily run on various alts, alongside the fact that the Lich King made his glorious return by blowing up the whole platform to make you go fight the King of the Giant Beetles again. It was actually some of the most fun I'd had in WoW for a long time, after how long Ulduar went on. And hey, I'm a self-confessed filthy casual, and Trial of the Crusader filled those much filthy needs I needed, and the dungeon Trial of the Champion was also just good fun. Charging around on horses, being a menace to the tournament, combine all of this with the excitement we knew we were heading into Ice Crown Citadel on the horizon, and to be honest it made for a pretty fun and vibrant patch. However, things don't always head the same way that you think they will, and when we got to ICC the vibe for Wrath Classic didn't feel all too positive, and the game was in a pretty negative state. Unfortunately, it's seen the Cataclysm Classic announcement kind of killed the hype for ICC, and lots of my friends instantly quit, tryhards came out of the woodwork again forcing rep runs, and the overall fun edge that I'd felt through most of Classic to this point had kind of disappeared. It's meant to be about revisiting old content and helping new players along the way, and being honest I just felt a bit sad after my first few runs of ICC. The hype was dead, Wrath had been left for dead, and it no longer felt like the ultimate conclusion that we all needed for what is hyped up to be one of the greatest expansions of all time. And this wasn't because ICC is a bad raid or anything, it was pretty much everything else going on around the expansion at the same time. People were fed up with the WoW token, or the fact random dungeon finder hadn't been added earlier, or now had been added. People didn't want Cataclysm and were annoyed there were no Wrath era realms on the horizon, or people just wanted Cataclysm now. And then everyone who was kind of annoyed either got bored of running ICC, or went back to vanilla era, or moved through to retail or season of discovery. And then there was even just the idea that this is the end of Classic WoW for a lot of people. They'd killed the Lich King, and have finally beaten the game. And their idea of Classic WoW as well as their journey was finally over after a few good years of reliving old memories and fun along the way. So it felt like in Wrath's ultimate hour of glory, everyone simply just up and left. Servers were dead and empty, guilds repeatedly disbanded, and I personally refused to pay for another server transfer. So even I gave up on Wrath at that point. And while sad, I still had enjoyed my journey of running through Classic WoW again, revisiting old content for the first time since I was a young teenager, and seeing that even in my older grumpiness, the players, the quests, the fun and the journeys still held relevance to me now and didn't disappoint. How much like when things don't go to plan, I didn't expect to be having this much fun in Wrath Classic again like I have in the past few weeks for the Cat Classic pre-patch. Now outside of the blaringly obvious issues that have happened in the pre-patch, some new life has been pumped back into the last moments of Wrath Classic, running ICC with new talent trees or spamming dungeons to build up your justice points. Seeing others level archaeology and some good server maintenance has given Wrath the last few great moments in the sun before we finally say goodbye to it. And for me, I'm glad to see that. Overall, I don't want to doom too much on Wrath. I know it has had its problems. But being honest, at times, this is the most fun I've had in WoW since the original Wrath release. And I love it for that. And I'm glad I got another swing at the back making core memories from a game I thought we'd lost a long time ago. And although it's sad to see some of the bad decisions taken and how the player base died out, I don't want that to negatively affect the happy memories I have. As realistically, it's not that deep. And the good outweighs the bad massively for me. I'm looking forward to Cataclysm, personally and I think it's going to be a blast, and I've already had fun in the pre-patch, and this is all coming from someone who didn't like Kata the first time around, but I'm heading into it with optimism that things will likely be different. So it's time to finally say goodbye to Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Overall, you were great, and thanks for the memories. Hopefully we get to see you again someday soon. But do let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy Wrath Classic, and what were your favourite parts of it? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. As always, if you're new here, feel free to like and subscribe. And on that note, I think I'll say ta for now, and I'll see you later.